All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Voruta system mod, which is being made by form user Johnster Space Program. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new planet with several moons for you to enjoy, which I'm quite happy about because, well, honestly, I was in the mood for a planet pack today and saw this one on the forums. So let's jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. Now this small planet system is added into the standard star system in the game, not a separate system out somewhere else. And it's just beyond Duna here where we have Varuta. And if we zoom in to see this little planetary system, it of course is the single Varuta planet with four love moons for you to enjoy of Theonis, Olten, Daphis, and Rebos. It is a great little system with some interesting and potentially challenging places to land on. Now, the main planet itself of Ruta is a pretty nice looking world. I do like the color scheme of it, kind of a, a barren, desertish almost feel to it. Now, as for the stats on this thing, it's a decently sized world at 350 kilometers with no atmosphere present whatsoever. Now, that's the last I'm gonna to mention atmosphere because uh, Veruta and its moons, none of them have atmosphere. So uh, just mark that off the list. They're all dead worlds, but still fun to visit just like all the other fun dead worlds. And yes, a very nice texturing on it. I do very much like the look of the planet overall. It's a pretty smooth world with a whole, not a whole lot of topography around, but still a nice world. Now the next of the celestial bodies, and of course our first moon, Theonis here, is a bit more topographical, with quite a lot of mountain ranges, crags, and valleys, especially in the, I guess, snowy-ish textured looking areas. In fact, I, I thought it was more of a mountain and tried to land on it myself earlier. Where is that thing? Right there, and ended up in a very, very deep valley. But yes, a very fun little world to explore with some difficult terrain to land on in places. Now, as for its size, it is 55 kilometers, so pretty small with only 0 0.057 Gs. So uh yeah, you'll be you'll be bouncing around a little bit. Now the next moon is Oten, a kind of icy, very white looking world. Again, pretty good topography on this one with a lot of variation in terrain. It is a smoother world though, not like Theonis with its large crags and valleys. It's a bit more gradual of ascents and descents, but still a very fun little moon to visit at 110 kilometers in size and 0.1 Gs of gravity. Now, the next moon is my favorite, uh, I guess texture-wise, Theonis is my favorite to actually land on. I love all the crags and valleys. But the next one, Daphis, oh, look at this gorgeous little thing. It's just awesome. It, for some reason, reminds me of cotton candy, and is just a very, very cool-looking world. Very, very bumpy, with all sorts of topography going on all over the place, and a strange little nub, which we tend to see in a lot of planet packs for the game. I, I don't know exactly what causes it, but I'm assuming it's just because, you know, it's the pole and where things come together, it goes a little wonky. But, uh, ooh, which actually I should mention, and I should have mentioned when we started, this whole mod pack is still a work in progress, so that nub may go away and textures and terrains may differ down the road. Now, uh, back to Daphis, though. It is 34 kilometers in size with 0 0.029 Gs. And, uh, yeah, it's just a gorgeous-looking little moon. I very much do like the blue colors to it. Very nice. And then, finally, we have Rebos, which is... Probably the most work in progress of the moons in this mod, as it's a little bit lower texture than the others, but it's still a nice little moon to go and land on, 25 kilometers in size with a .01 Gs. Now, as for its uh, terrain, 
these smoother textured areas tend to be, well, smoother in their land. Whereas this sort of more, I guess, just more oddly, no, not oddly, it's not really odd, it's just more of a strangely textured area, that's still probably not better, but that area tends to have a lot more uh, mountainous bits as you can see there. You get all these little mountain crags, etc. And then when you get to the smoother textures, it's a smoother landscape. But all in all, still a cool place to go visit. I do like the sort of odd shape to it, not quite a spherical, uh, but very, very cool and a good addition to this little system. And now as for uh, biomes, etc., the, uh, actually, let me look at my other monitor real quick just to make sure I'm not leading you guys astray here. And yes, yes, all the planets do have various biomes, so you can get all that delicious biome science and have a unique experience in different places, which is cool. Always good to see that, especially if you are doing a science or career save. Now let's actually go and head over to uh, the, well, the system with my little lander, which, yeah, yeah, we, um... I tried to land up there. Didn't work out so well for me. But we did end up in quite an impressive little valley here with just tall features all over the place on either side. And I believe if we zoom out, which way is the rest of it? There is should Ah, there it is! There is Varuta in the distance. We actually could see it for a little bit as I was, you know, landing down in the valley here through those peaks, which was quite cool, but now I'm too far down in the depths to actually view it anymore, but still a cool view nonetheless. I do like the planet just peeking over the top of the cliff sides there. It is quite nice. But yeah, that is the Veruta system mod. It is a cool little planet pack, adding in a, well, singular planet and four fun new moons for you to explore. So if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode today, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!